hard work, determination, and persistence. Nothing else works. Revolutions like the American Revolution often occur when there is a desire to bring about a radical change in the way people live, in the way they are treated by those in power. Martin Luther King Jr. led a nonviolent revolution to radically change the way America treated its black citizens. Revolutions take various forms. Some are violent, some are nonviolent. Some last a few days, some last a few years, and some last for generations. The history books describe many. The American Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, Mao Zedong's Cultural Revolution in China, and our own Albany Movement. The Albany Movement was a nonviolent social revolution to end racial injustice in Albany. It merged with a broader national social revolution that had begun generations before. That revolution is not over yet, and if you think it is, you have fallen asleep again. You are uninformed, or you have been led astray. Thus, the challenge is to not be weary, a complacent or content, but to remain awake and to live with a purpose, to finish the work with urgency, to steal a phrase often used by my good friend Dean Grant, if not us, who? If not now, when? If not here, where? Martin Luther King Jr kept us awake for a while, but many of us have fallen asleep again or have become content, satisfied, comfortable, and even blind to the injustice still around us. They need somebody to shake them, to wake them. But leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. come along infrequently. He has been gone for more than a generation and no one else like him has risen up among us. If we are waiting for that to happen, we are lost in a dream that will never come true. The baton has been passed to us. We can drop it or we can finish the race. You don't have to be a Martin Luther King Jr.